Uh huh. But there. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, you never know. That's they call they it. call them grass pike, right? So they could be up in the grass there somewhere. No, these aren't grass pike. These aren't grass grass pickerel. That's a smaller esox. Well, why didn't you tell me that earlier? I wouldn't have cast it up there. This is Gary from Nova Scotia Act Fisher Outdoors. In today's episode, uh, we just got back from a overnight kayak fishing trip down to one of our home bases in southwestern Nova Scotia. Uh, got into some good smallmouth fishing. Uh, caught a few chain pickerel, even on a really nice white perch. Uh, got a surprise visit from a friend that I haven't fished with in over 10 years. Uh, got a little bit of cooking over the fire coming your way, a little tour of the area and a little bit of my hammock setup. So a uh, really good episode coming your way. If any of that interests you, stay tuned. I uh, hope you enjoy. So we're just arriving here at the camp location for the next day. Having a look around. This is looking pretty good. There's the mighty Matagan River coming out right there. Our little screen hut. We'll play some cards late, later and watch. Looking like an awesome looking day out there. Here's our fire pit. And this is what we got to look forward to the fish today. awesome out here. We're going to unload it. I'm going to get the hammock set up. And maybe do a little camp chores and then uh, get out and enjoy the water. I'm going to be testing out a new uh, uh, a PDL Predator Old Town Kayak. So it'll be the first time for me in one of those. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. So stay tuned. Looks like we have an awesome day ahead of us. Should be some awesome fishing too, I would think. Oh, apparently there's a bass out there. We got home set up for the night. Just thought I'd take you a tour of the abode. side open. I can go out and look at the lake or I can look from the lake from my bed in the morning. So now that we got that done it's uh, time to maybe relax a little bit and enjoy the uh, shade over here as it's brutally hot out. I think it's somewhere in handy 30. Uh, certainly feel like temperatures probably over that and uh, then we're gonna go fishing this evening so stay tuned making some lunch. I'm in the screen tent. We just leave this up here. Gives us a place to get out of the bugs. But I uh, wanted to give you a little look at my lunch coming. Some kimchi noodles. Got it on the gas fire stove. Of course, just threw the alcohol burner in there. Uh, way too hot for lighting a fire right now. But that's going to be lunch here in about a minute or two. I'm out with my maiden voyage in a Predator PDL. I have a Predator at home, but it's not pa paddle driven. So this is a new experience for me so far. Uh, kind of cool. Just getting the hang of the steering. Uh, I'm going to start the fish here in a minute or two and see how that works out for me. Instead of having sore arms, I'll 
Got sore legs. We're going up the shady shoreline right now. Um, oh, there's a hit and, and bass. First fish in a pedal kayak. Not a big bass. This would have been one of the bigger ones I caught on the Gasparo Lake trip. But uh, we'll take this guy. That's a decent bass. Oh, he spits it at the boat. Well, well. Uh, I don't think that's a bass. Uh, we're not going to be able to tell for sure because it's gone now. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, acrobatic. That's a decent bass. Yeah, that's more like it. Easy fella, I just want to take a hook out. Now I got a bass in the bottom of the kayak. That's an interesting situation itself. Nice bass. Seems like things are heating up around here. That was a good old pound and three quarters maybe. Not huge, but a lot of fun. Way bigger than I've been catching lately on the on the system of my from my videos Gasparo Lake system lately. No sir? Didn't want it? On not the middle? Oh there we go. Another decent bass. Spits it out on the jump. That's okay. We got the fight out of him. That's what we wanted. That doesn't feel like a big one. Pretty good crop of 15s out here. This isn't one of them. This is uh, 12, 11. Hmm. This is a 
fish. Nice jump. Through the Forgot my O rings for my Senkos, which is unfortunate because that's what you get. One fish, one Senko. And that's what? A, uh, 13 maybe. We'll take them, but. Scared. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's a small mouth. Top water fish. Sixteen. Nice. Gotta be a pickerel. Now he just slammed that whopper popper. He's making an awful mess on the top of the surface. Now, of course, he's got me down in that stuff. This is just a light action rod. Yeah. Here he comes. Easy, fella. Heavy, heavy fish. We're in here, this is a good pickerel. Big belly on him. I'm going to say 22 and a half. 22. Here you go, fella. Bye bye. Nice. Couple good fish out here. Down that grass, it's, they dig in. Are you on a smallie? I may have to turn the camera on you here for a minute. Don't lose it now. You're on TV. You're on TV. This is a decent smallmo. Meanwhile, back at the farm. Oh, he just tossed my bait, and there it goes. Down to the bottom. A <laughs> little tiny pickerel jumped clear of the water for that bait. Oh, I think he might have got it this time. No, I don't want a horse. This, this is a big Not one. Bad. He's lots of energy in that yeah, guy. that's a good fish. Nothing wrong with that. Lots well, of energy. Look at that. I got a hog tied pickerel now. Massive. Nice. 
Now I gotta release a tiny pickerel without all these treble hooks finding their way into me. Oh, there we go. That was easier than I thought. Okay. Some people don't think that Chris Arnold can fish, but every once in a while, well, all that hooting and hollering produces a now, fish or two. Now, when you say people, you just mean you. All the other guys think it too. They just don't say it. That's 15 or 16, isn't it? <laughs> bass in the boat. A little bass in the boat. I really prefer him to get out of the boat. <sighs> Buddy? I'm not sure if you've got it yet. I'm not amused. bass maybe or a pickerel a little pickerel and he spit it that's okay Well, we had a great night fishing tonight. Uh, we caught three species, chain pickerel, a big white perch, and a bunch of really good bass. Uh, the battery died before they was able to uh, capture the white perch, but uh, them's the breaks sometimes. I do get a nice picture. So. Anyway, right now, I got the fire going. I got some veg and my steak on the fire. And... Uh, now starting to look forward to the morning. I've uh, got one of my longtime friends who I haven't fished with in probably, oh, maybe even 15 years. I haven't seen him in close to 10. So he's going to show up in the morning. So we're going to get out for a paddle and look see and hopefully catch some more fish. And uh, I'm going to get this uh, battery back on the charger so we got we can get some footage from the morning. So I leave you with a view of the steak sizzling. See you in the morning. Morning, YouTubers. Uh, just woke up. It's uh, I don't know, five something in the morning, and reached out and fired up my coffee, uh, my alcohol burner. Uh, just waiting for a friend that I haven't seen in a number of years to arrive. Uh, gonna be going out for another fish here this morning. So, stay tuned. She looks like she's uh, pretty nice out there so far today. So, anyway, I'm going to wait for my coffee, get that going, and then get up and get moving. Now, this point here is quite shallow, it comes out quite a ways. 
well, I have to. <laughs> and you can see the Arrowhead Island right there. It's not a very big lake. Oh, we probably caught 20 fish above 13 inches bass last night. Can't complain about that. I have caught a 23 here on spinnerbait uh, earlier. Not yes, not. I guess it was late last year. First bass of the day for me. And we're looking at. Yes, about 16. Oh. We'll take that. Pick up and spit. Oh, you pick it up again. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Not bad. At, not bad at all. I'm having pickups and drops like crazy. Maybe those are pickerel. I'll take them all day long. Yeah. Absolutely. I have to throw a Senko back at that fella. See some weed beds out right there. Right at the boat, you had to throw my Senko a mile out there. Uh -huh. 
Sounded good. <laughs> A little pickerel. Now, I imagine just a pickerel. Well, who knows? Feels all right. I still don't know what I got on. Oh, nice bass. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, the average is pretty good. <laughs> oh. I think it scared the pickerel and he turned around and tried to bite it afterwards. Got enough decent ones that if I was in a tournament, I'd be hunting for a big one now.
seen a bass in a I seen the just the out of the corner of my eye there oh that was a small one right at the last second hmm no need to be in like that let's uh, see if I can lose it you were had a little bit of weight to you oh <laughs> can't seem to get that lure in his mouth though I imagine that that small mouth kicking around there I'll try it one more time with that and maybe go back and go to a Senko or something Nope, look at that. Easy does it. fish. Got some nice bass this morning. Get caught up with an old friend. Can't ask for a better morning. Really liking the pedal drive of these things. I don't know if I'll end up getting one right now, but uh, kind of impressed with it. So, anyway, I'm going to head back into camp. And, uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Just going for a little hike, hoping to stop at a at the still water for fish, but up there, hopefully you can see it is a, a big chunk of chaga. Uh, might have to harvest that at another another time of year. But I found a few pieces back in here, uh, not today, but uh, over the past couple of years. So probably come on to more as we explore more. Anyway, I'm going to head down and see if I can go fishing. So I'm pretty sure that's what's called uh, Indian's Pipe. Uh, I believe I read somewhere that it has some pain reliever qualities, but uh, don't take my word for it. I'm not even 100% sure that that's what that is. Uh, but I've never seen it before in the wild. I've only read about it. And uh, pretty cool. I see a, another one not too far from here. So, right in there. So, anyway, interesting find. If uh, anyone knows for sure, they can uh, let, them, let me know. I don't. Yeah, I see some more over here. Okay. Dark spot that can apparently glow. Pretty cool, all in all. So, some Indian's pipe and some chaga today. Not bad finds. All right, I gotta get out of here. Still water's in yonder there, but if I go that way, I'll be getting soaked. Considering I just have a pair of water shoes on my Columbia pants, uh, they would be extremely black. So let's not do that. Um, I'm trying to pick a little drier area. Uh, it's 
certainly uh, way higher than last year this time. So anyway, we'll get up here and see when we find our way down. See if I can find a place to stand on the, there where I don't totally get soaked. last year when I was here in September. And this is uh, July. End of July. About a month difference or so. But uh wow. Not gonna be able to get to a lot of the spots. We'll see if we can hit the fish by some chance. That's a, not a long bass, but nice and fat. Start. Good stuff. Okay. okay. Seventeen, probably fifteen and a half. Another sixteen, or we'll say. Can't seem to get rid of the sixteen. That was a great little river fish right here. Well, well, well. Let's see if there's anybody else. Oh, it's got a little. Pickerel. Okay, folks, as I uh, meander my way back out the stream to get back out to the our camp road and get back and pack things up, and I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, we're going to head out, get cleaned up a little bit, have some supper on the two hour drive back to our hometowns. Uh, it's been a good trip. The fishing has been absolutely fabulous. Had some good food there too. Uh, the steak on the on the fire last night with the uh, green, red peppers and portobello mushrooms turned out uh, just wicked. And then I got the added bonus of uh, an old friend that I hadn't seen in about 10 years come out, and we spent the morning on the lake together and 
got to share some stories and some good fishing together. So all in all, it's been quite a trip. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Should be more to come in the coming weeks. And then uh, once we hit towards the end of September, October, we'll get into some more uh, hunting stuff and uh, might get a few hikes in before now and then as well. Uh, we do have a plan to, to try to get do a sunset hike for Cape Foot if uh, my partner and I are off at the same time and we're going to get a nice clear evening. So there's going to be some more great stuff coming. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Take care all. Bye-bye.